I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a cow skull head. Take three fingers in the center and underneath let's put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line down on the right, little curve line down on the right, big curve line up, back, and leave it floating. Come back to the dot. Curve line down on the left, little curve line, big curve line up, back, and leave it floating. <clears throat> Starting right here on the left, we're going to draw curve line out, curve line down, curve line down, and leave it floating. Come up on the right. Curve line out, curve line down, curve line down, and connect. Come up to the left, and right at this point, we're just going to draw a curve line in and out, connect, jump over on the right, curve line down, out, connect. Right back where the dot was up at the center, we're going to draw a straight line down. Now we're going to draw a curve line down, connect on the right, curve line down, connect on the left. Come right straight down in the center and put a dot. And from the dot going up on the right, curve line, curve line down, curve line out, connect, come back to the dot, curve line up, curve line down, curve line connect, Curve line down, connect at the bottom. Right here in the center, we're just going to draw a straight line down, connect, and jump over, straight line down, connect. Come up to the left, starting right about here, we're just going to go zigzag, 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 connect, jump over, Right about here on the right, zigzag, 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 connect. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the very first thing I'm going to do, if you have some multicultural crayons, if not, you can do this with a light brown. I'm just going to kind of go over the lines that I just drew because this is a skull, cow skull, that's been left out in the desert and all that's left are its bones but sometimes you want to put a little bit of color on those bones so it doesn't look so white white but if you did do it white white that would be okay because that's kind of pretty much what the color is so I do that a little bit of color then I take my black and I'm going to carefully color in the zigzag part of my horns and then I can do the rest loop-de-loop. -loop. Now a lot of uh, cow skulls are decorated. This is just plain old bone. You do it on the left, do it on the right. I'm doing up, down, up, down on my zigzag to try and keep it in the lines. But once I've done that, I can come back in and just do the horns. Loop de loop. Okay? There we go. Now, because I can't leave anything alone without putting a pop of color, I got my blue green. And I just did some turquoise straight lines in the background. Because this is very southwest, or Texas, or Old West, or indigenous people, Native American, Plains Indians. Just a little bit of turquoise. 
Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my cow skull all colored in. Okay, bye-bye.